Let me engage you in a thought experiment to motivate this section. Let's suppose that we have a set of dominoes and they are labeled with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. One domino for each positive integer. And we will now take our time to place them on edge so that we're spacing them apart at the correct distance so that if one domino falls, it will cause the next one to fall. Of course, placing these dominoes will take a long time, but will spare no effort and we will line them up just right in a long, long row of dominoes. And while we're placing these dominoes, we will make sure that they all have the correct distance between each adjacent pair. The dominoes will be spaced so that whenever one domino falls, it will cause the next one to fall. Let's have a look here at domino number K. The next domino, K plus 1, has been placed at the exact right distance from domino K, so that when, or better say if, domino K falls, it was, will cause domino K plus 1 to fall as well. It is important to note here that we have placed the dominoes in the exact correct position and not just a few of them. So for this reason we must be sure that whenever we consider any domino, say domino K, it will be positioned in the correct way to also trip domino K plus 1 if domino k falls. And we now come to the feature presentation of this video. We will make the first domino drop. Of course, this will cause our second domino to drop as well. And as the second domino falls, in doing so will cause the third domino to fall. And when the third domino falls, it will cause the next one, number four, to fall. And we see that this process must continue for all the dominoes. This is because we had placed each domino so that whenever domino K falls, it will cause domino K plus one to fall as well. We are certain that all the dominoes have been placed so that K falling will cause K plus one to fall. And once we have pushed our first domino over, it causes a cascade of calling dominoes, and this will ensure that eventually every domino will fall.